This is Illinois Radio with Biko, Illinois Jones, and Pretty Riot going down right now. We are now back live on Illinois Radio. Yes, I did just say shh. Biko just shush me. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I, I saw them lips smack. Joe's was like, I'm out of this. <laughs> you saw my face change. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no problem. Now, before we get into anything, I got to shout out our sponsor one more again. You feel me? Shout Ballin'. out. Shout out, Ballin'. They hooked us up with some headphones. Make sure y'all go get that. You feel me? Bluetooth. You feel me? And then you can also plug in if you want to. But um these headphones is dope. Are good I, airplane headphones. Yes, bro. I had them on a the plane for my flight to Atlanta and I have to say very comfortable. Uh these will be going on sale soon. We got the first batch and then also we got hooked up with a dope book bag, yo. Only the ballers know what's up. So the book bag is made of uh I'm gonna give y'all a better promotion of this soon. Yeah. But as you see it <laughs> bad boy made with um Basketball Tell material. Tell them what's in it. And then, yeah, what's in it is uh, it's a Bluetooth speaker at the bottom, uh-huh. as you see, Bluetooth speaker. On the back, there is a pouch where you can charge your phone, oh, wow. uh, your iPhone, your Android. It's another charge. I don't know what charge that's for. It might be Windows or whatever other phone it is. I know I can even charge my cameras from this uh, bad boy. Inside, it also holds your laptop. Uh, I mean, whatever you you, you want like this bag to do. Case, yeah, you know? hard shell Ninja Turtle case. You feel what I'm saying? Come on down to the yeah. price is right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game changer. I swear. Yeah, it's a game Bluetooth game speaker game. off the chain. That bad boy be thumping. But uh, yeah, again, shout out to our sponsor, don't, Ballin. Don't, don't get that book bag and then get on the CTA train. Oh my god! And then listen to wild music. Bruh. <laughs> Like that's what that's I, I can see that right now. Next next summer everybody gonna have a book bag like that, Man. and they gonna be on the, just playing their music live. I'm just looking like we <laughs> been all these like, <laughs> and all you hear, nigga, it's, 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 it's gonna slide there. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was about to say. That's all. I, that's all I heard when I was on the train. Yo. That's all I look, heard. Look, that's all you gonna hear. You be looking at me like, dang, I want to tell him he embarrassing us. <laughs> They yeah. looking at me like, calm your peoples down. For real. Like it's your fault. Like, Homie got his stuff first up all out. That's not my man. Who is That's definitely how it go. That's funny. I said that. Yeah, and then he say the soul. The exact soul. The exact soul. That's what they hear. They're like, they going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. That's when they get the fixing their clothes in the seat. Don't so even want to look your way. Glasses, <laughs> no, no, you know? they, get, they, they get up early. They stop in up like six more times. <laughs> they just get they up and get stand by the, the door. They get off the 47s when they really was trying to get off at Roosevelt. <laughs> you said, I just, I just wait for the next, the next train. One. Oh, I'm just going to catch the next one. <laughs> but again, shout out Ballin, man. That's B-A-L-L-N. Um, like I said, they'll be having orders soon, so stay in tune with us. And now we got to get back into Nate R. Creates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this innovate. Tiff, go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to start off with what Biko said. Let's talk about this new innovative creation that you have partnered with Google to do. So tell us about it. Beautiful. Uh, so basically, um, man, I, it, it goes back to a couple years ago. I did a similar piece like this, but it wasn't as put together uh, for, for, for a certain blog. And I just kind of left it there, but then I just came back to it recently. It was like, man, I'm going to I want to put this out, and I sat on it for so long. Like, it was pretty much done. I had to get in tune with artists in Philly, Detroit, and I think, uh, yeah, ma- mainly Philly and, and Detroit before I could feel comfortable putting it out. Got in tune with some artists, and it was like, woke up one day, like, I'm about to drop it. And just, it got some really good feedback. Yeah. yeah. So, like, explain to me, like, a little more about what it is and what it does. So, so basically, it is a live Google map where uh, instead of, you know, guessing who's hot here and this and that, blah, blah, you can literally just go to it. And uh, so, for example, we already talked about California. So, let's, let's just say, uh, let's do Florida. No, no, let's do Atlanta because Atlanta has a hell of a lot of rappers. So you can you can go you can go to the map and uh if I could get it to act right on I'm trying to where is it at? Okay. You go you go to the map and then uh hold on y'all, I'm trying to Okay, here we go. I'm I don't know how to read the map. Anyway. So so you so you go to the map, so I'm I'm in Atlanta right now 
and I just uh, I've labeled the hottest artists from these cities and I don't want people to think that I'm just going around naming people like no I've traveled to these places I got people in these places and they're like yo this is the these are the top people that's going crazy uh so for Atlanta I got Gunna off back that's a, that's a no brainer Lil Baby a no brainer uh Hood Rich Pablo Juan and then Young Young Nudie and so from there once you click on the icons that represent the artists you can tap on their name. From there, it's a picture, uh, and then a link to all of their music, so you can really, really get in tune. And uh, and yeah, so it's, it it does that. It has th these same features for pretty much all the major cities throughout the country. Um, and yeah, that's just just a that's a fun way to get in tune with some new that's music. That's honestly a game changer. It is. Like that's done. that's probably one of the dopest things. Like I've it takes seen. a lot of work yeah. out of a lot of stuff. It's just make it easy yeah. to find. I'm trying Appreciate to think, how in the hell did you find the time to do that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like man, it, 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 it was like I said, it was it was it was a it was a a, a complete process because, like I said, I did it before once, so mm -hmm. I kind of knew. All right, I, I knew how to how to work what how to do this and that. But man, I, I I sat on it for at least seven months. I treat everything I do like art. I'm not gonna just do something and put it out. It has to be right. It has to be backed by actual factual information and has to have a, a good rollout and once i felt all those things was in place then I, I, I was ready to go but the bulk of the hard work i did probably like within the first two three months just oh i'm in tune this artist let me let me put, put this artist on. down let me put this artist down yeah that's dope man yeah. gratitude like so for anybody out there that's looking to get on the heat map man make sure you follow Nayar on his Instagram, his Twitter. Let the people know where they can find you. Man, real I'm quick. everything Nayar underscore creates. Uh, to access this this uh, this map, it's in my link is in my bio. You can also just Google search it. Just man, it, it's out there. It's yeah. out there. I know when I saw it, I was blown away. Man, yeah, I, I actually was that. playing around with it. I'm like, this is dope. This dope. Even yeah. just watching him pull it up now, it's just like <laughs> it, looked, it looked dope as hell. It looked like um. Pokemon Go. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hip Hop Go. Hip Hop Go. Man, shout out to all. Man, gonna put his shirt in the camera. Look at this guy. <laughs> shout out to all the Chicago artists. Like I, like I told people, I just put the people that's that, that's got it right now. And I tell artists this all the time, not to sidetrack us, but it would be not only my issue, but you all's issue as well to give an artist a green light when it's really a red or a yellow. Mm, I'm right. not gonna act like, oh yeah, bro, you there, because that's giving you the false, uh, the false reality of what you need to do. Yes, sir. So just because you didn't make this list, don't mean you're not there. You you probably just on step nine, and then step ten is right there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so all the people that that didn't make it, I'm, I update it. You know what I'm saying? It's people that's literally one song, one video, one Instagram cleansing away from being like, okay. Right. I love how you I just can, broke that down. Too. I also, I kind of like how you just said Instagram cleansing. Oh yeah. So can you go into that just a little bit, like what you would call an Instagram cleanse and why you think it's necessary? So people need to realize if if you're whatever you're doing, music, uh, being a chef, being a model, being a doctor, being whatever it is, your Instagram needs to align with who and what you're doing. Of course, it's cool. I mean, everybody has their like person. Like, I like to use G Herbo for a good example. His Instagram, at least his story, is solely for humor. He's gonna always be on there laughing and cracking jokes, stuff like that. That's gonna be that's cool. But his page is professional. You know what I'm saying? If you go, if if it's gonna be something fun and just you gonna do whatever, then that's cool. But if you are taking, especially music professional, um, you know. I don't really care about the, a, a lot of people care about the wrong stuff. They care about having, following a low amount, having a high amount. Of, I don't really care about that because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a thousand people that you should be following. But as long as you have, you know, good, clean cut photos and not too many memes and all this other goofy stuff. And it's just, just have, have, have some, make it appealing, you know, make me want to check it out. I, I hate that. When I go, when a rapper hit me up in the DM and they be like, yo, Come check out my music or go listen to my music, and then you get to their page. It's like filled with Feel memes. With. One oh, one stop shop for me. Like, so I'm not even looking. Like, barbecue. Like <laughs> dude, like you just got blocked, dog, for no or, reason. Or you go to their page and it's the same video yep. throughout their whole page. Like I understand you want to promote, but 
it's other ways to market yourself than just flood your timeline exactly. with the same Thanks. song. Exactly. You instantly get people; they get less drawn to you. Then now you just lost attention. Yeah. Right. So yeah, and then even just to go a little step further, like if you're a female artist, I think there's you need to take heed to how you represent yourself mm. on your social media as well. Because like I ain't gonna say no names, but I've come across you know upcoming female artists, and I go on their page, and I'm like. Why are you taking pictures in your bra and panties and then expect people to take you serious? Like, it's one thing yep. to have sex appeal. Because as women, we do have that. And it's a way to work that without being in your bra and panties mm-hmm. on your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So, that goes different ways. So, ladies, if you're out there listening to, whether you are a model, uh, a music artist, like, be mindful of how you portray yourself on that as well. Because as women, we already got it a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. So, we got to do a little bit more just for that recognition. So, be mindful of that too, guys. And with that, I want to hold the, the fellas accountable too. Off back, if you got three guns on your page, I'm done. With you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, if you got any of them on, on your like, page, you know, I mean, because if you got one little snub in your pocket, like I get it. That's you know, especially if that's really your life. But more than one, like at, at that, like at that point, you I, I treat everything like you're a label. Overdoing it. You're overdoing it, and now you gonna you're gonna be hot. Yeah, you're not gonna yeah. get booked for shows. Police, are, that's, yep, I'm on. happy you yep. said because I was finna say that. So mm-hmm. I gotta touch bases Bigger, we, on that. We right here yeah. all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, like how you were just saying, me personally, when it comes to booking shows, guys, for those that's listening, if I go through your IG and I see guns on your page, faithfully, that's all you talking about is violence, drugs, guns. You can't sit with us. I'm exactly. I'm not gonna reach out to you and book you for an event because these venues are watching our every move like they're the police. So, therefore, if you have a clean cut profile page on your Twitter, your Instagram, whatnot, they're gonna go to your Instagram first to see you, see what you're doing. But if your Instagram is clean, of course, they'll be more willing to, okay, I like that artist, let's do it, compared to... Oh no, this person got a gun, Biko. Uh, you sure? Yeah. But you gotta understand. Y'all think I want to be around that? Yeah, but you don't have to show it off, though. I mean, if you show it off, even if if the police that's come for you, what make you, what make you think they're gonna come for me when they come get you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what if we all together in the same room? <laughs> like, yeah. you feel like you tweaking, cuz yeah. like, nah, yeah. dog. Keep that, keep that sh- off of your page. My cousin told me personally. Never put nothing on my page that can possibly affect my future. Because in the future, nice. they gonna go back to your mm-hmm. your past and see what you've done. And once I feel like we all right. I think we was about to say the same thing. Like we know once it's out there, it's there forever. Yeah. Whether you delete it, somebody yeah. done already screenshot it, exactly. sent it around. You know what I'm saying? Like you never. And by us not getting notifications on who screenshotted your stuff, you never no, no, know. No. You never, never know. know. It's so, already in the database. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I might. Know. I mean, yeah. if you read the terms and conditions, that stuff that we don't read, they. Mm-hmm. These people have rights to our photos. You know yep. what I'm saying? They they're they're archiving our stuff. They're saving mm-hmm. our stuff. So be cautious. Be of what you yeah, do. very cautious. <laughs> like I feel like we just taught a lesson. Yeah, I hope <laughs> like they to a high school class. The conversations need to be had. Man. And, and, and yeah. we're not preaching. We're just giving our opinion. We just hope you guys accept our opinion and and you know take it in. No, so. you can swallow my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> that was harsh. Perfect. <laughs> That's the name of my blog. And it's, just, it's just an inside joke. I'm oh, sorry. You know what you you know it what hit, you get when you hear somebody it say solo it 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 did. Did. So let's actually jump into all cost. Gang gang. So what is all cost, man? So before I, before I have to hear any slack from anybody, first let me shout out the gang. Let me shout out Vibes. Ace of two times. Solo the Dweeb. Twenty fifth. Bird. Steve. Charlie, Finesse Fest, and everybody else that's affiliate, partners, everybody else. Uh, shout out to everybody. So All Calls, basically, it, it's super organic. Um, we just was all rocking with each other. Uh, I met, I started working with Asa uh, as, a, like, as a partnership. Of course, linked up with his manager, Vo, Steve. Then I met Solo, and... He was getting music and engineering by Vibes. And Finesse Fest was the involved. DJ. And so we just was organically started hanging out. We had the studio, eating jerk chicken. And just like, man, we've got a nice little collective of people that do different things. And uh, shout out to Finesse. He's the one that kind of, Finesse mm-hmm. called me right now. He's the one uh, that was like, yo, you know, let's, let's, let's name it. You know what I'm saying? Let's this and that, blah, blah. 
I'm like, I bet. What is it? And he was like, all costs. We hated it at first, sat on it for like two weeks, and it was like, man, all costs it is. So, and I, and I don't want people to think, I get this a lot too. It's no exclusion. This is just the people that I work with consistently. I work with everybody. Shout out to uh, Squad Goals and HSP and just all the other uh, crews and cliques and whatever you <laughs> want to call it. But th- that's just... That's just people, like I say, work with consistently. You know what I'm saying? Some your core people, right? Yeah. There. You That's your team. We're going to work every day. For yeah. having a team. Exactly. Yeah, everybody exactly. should go get you one. Honestly. No, because people be, oh, people feel some because I ain't in all calls, you can't post my video. Man, stop capping, man. I didn't post I ain't, your video because That's not how it works. You didn't post your video because it was whack. <laughs> Literally. That That's be- not how it <laughs> works, man. <laughs> Don't. You gotta just let them know. <laughs> I wouldn't even respond to it, to be honest. Let that go in and out the other ear, my brother. I you focus, you, you, you're focused. Don't let nobody deter your focusness. I appreciate that. That makes that. sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Look, you felt that. You got yeah. your hand on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go against it. I, I hope that's that. in the camera angle. <laughs> I hope it is. I hope he got it too. He looked at me with sure determination. No, because I'm going to. Uh, confidence. I'm making a clip off that. If that hand on the hip is in the video, oh, I'm screen recording. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's out to get you. She's going crazy like that. We got radio police in the building. <laughs> yes, we do. Got an Afro puzzle to change. I told you, BBCC came to play with y'all. Who she is? Who that is? That's old. I forgot her name. What's her? Brown Sugar? I just remember the song. What's up? Pam. Um. Pam Greer? Yeah. Oh, got you. Yeah, that is Brown Sugar. What was her name? Foxy. Foxy. Foxy Brown. Yeah, that is. That is. So, you know what? Let's actually get into this game. Y'all got any more questions real quick? Uh, I have a question. Okay. So do you limit yourself to working with music artists? Okay, so when you... Okay, I have a better question. Okay. When you're merc... When you're merking, okay, gotcha. No. When you're working <laughs> with music artists, what specifically do you do for them? Like, is it... I mean, I know I'm pretty sure it's different for every artist, but mm-hmm. what's, I guess, your common goal when you're working with an artist? Uh, it's really, really whatever they need. I come, it's, it's so, it's so uh, kind of bold and just... You know, not not together, but that's the process. I say, look, what do you need? What's what are you wanting to do? And usually they can't just say, oh, I want X, Y, Z. So that's why I, I, I always say, to people, yo, let, let's get in tune. Let's kick it. Let, bring me to the studio session. Let's go to a show. Let's go get some food. Let's kick it. And then from there we can pinpoint. Okay, you need a release party. You need tighten up your image. You need this and that. This and that. Blah blah blah. But uh, so yeah, so that's more like I said, that's just more me organically kicking it with people. And then as far as services, I do press kits for artists. You know, uh, everybody don't know you're a rapper. Get your electronic press kit so you can send it over for to come on Illinois Radio and get you some shows, all that good stuff. Uh, press kits. Uh, do a lot of booking and just really linking people. Which, what, videographer, whatever yeah. you need. Radio, let's get it. That's dope. See? Happy we brought you through, my yeah, brother. Really? So, here. actually, we really just found out who the plug was. Don't yeah. say that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, well, I know the first time I'm, I'm, I encountered an AR, everybody was already calling me the plug. Come so, on, I'm going to hop on the wave. <laughs> Hey, like I said, I'm for. He he may not be the plug. He's probably the outlet, but you know. <laughs> okay, humble, humble. He was Casper to me. I just humble. I never met the guy in person. You and always the, seen. I him. always saw him on Instagram, or we be in this. I'm like, I was just. I see him on Instagram. He post. I'm like, I was just there. <laughs> see this man in there. Like I just swear this was in there. I didn't know who he. I, I was just in refuge five seconds ago. Because I'm happy. That's how it was the first time we met too. So when I first met him. He came to the way home. Finally, I man. ran up on like, like finally, cuz it's, it's like the cousin that's in jail. <laughs> when he was locked up since she was a baby, and then he you finally, finally he finally get out. And he be like, oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, that's how it was for real, though, no cap. <laughs> Hell no, but yeah, I've always I've always seen the glow, bro. Since the um, yeah, you know since the beginning, uh, yeah, I've always seen it. That's why I reached out, you know, and we've been standing to him. Definitely. So um, like again, like I said, I'm happy you came through. And before we end our discussion, we got to get into this game one time. Oh, one time. Oh. One time. One time. For the one time. Who we coming with? Dream car. What is your dream car? <sighs> I guess one one that works. <laughs> <laughs> one that works. And you man. heard it here first on hey, Illinois hey, radio. That, that, that's, that's the a, most that's responsible a real answer. Yes. Hey, yes. Look, I 
ain't complaining. You ain't got to give me no phantom. You ain't gotta, look, hey, real something. quick, real quick. I got to say this real quick. Ace of Two Times movie is on the way. Whoop remix featuring Queen Key and somebody that I can't name. Solo the Tweed. Recipe for Gold is out now. Deluxe edition coming real soon. All costs on the bill. Man. I want to be in that whip video. Way. I'm still oh, stuck oh, it's with coming. Ass. I want to be in that. You can. Please come through. Yeah, let me know. If, if please come through. Say. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. definitely there. Talk, tell me <laughs> you in. You say it's going to be some what? Some scrippers. In the, in, the two, in, the, in the two times video. I'm just all awesome. A little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. In ASAP. Left hand with me. We're going to get into that, that joint after this game, too. So, uh, Beyonce, Kim K, or Nikki? Oh, for me? Yeah. yeah. And please answer. Oh, you should do an F, Mary kill. We should, that's how we should do that. I can't say the F word, but Mary kill. Oh, that's that. Well, okay. Uh, oh. F, yeah, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who, uh, who the options? Kim K. Kim K. And, and Nicki Minaj. Oh, I'm back. I'm marrying B. Sorry, Jay. Uh, what's the other one? Mary. And Kim K. Mary, kill, and, oh, and sex up. I'm going a, I'm to a have relations with Nicki. And uh, you know we often Kim K. Yeah, thanks a I, lot, I Kim. Feel you. <laughs> ah, Kim get the K. K. Kim get the K. <laughs> Kim get the K. Okay. <laughs> Name an artist you bring back from the dead. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. Um, it, I it has to be Tupac and Biggie. Can't go either way. Okay, it we gotta gonna, we gotta give you the buzz, buzz on yeah. that. What that mean? Because okay, so. We no, you didn't know. cheat. Those are, those are like Hall of Famers. Like, yeah. You can't say those. Oh, you know, oh, oh. We, we try to get people to say a not so common answer. Yeah. Everybody wants to bring Biggie and Tupac back. Everybody. Literally. That's Even my answer. grandma. That's the number one I would one say, answer. man, just because of how, I would have to say Lil, Lil, Lil Pappy. Just because, mm. man, he's, he's, he, was, he was about to be on He struck a nerve shit. in Chicago. Yeah. And, and he I, still turned. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I remember coming, I was, I had, Either just got back from California or somewhere, so I wasn't quite in tune. So I'm doing an internship in Inglewood, and the iPhone was ringing, you know, at an eight. Two cups. And they just going, I'm like, I got to get in tune. Like, who y'all? They's like, oh, we little Pappy, little Pappy. That's what we rocking with. I'm like, okay. Little Pappy was head the streets. And I think, like, his his brother make music now. I think he had, like, a little brother that make music. He was making all his beats at first. Really? Mm -hmm. His brother on now, uh, Young uh, Tavs. Uh, Yeah. Forgot his name. Uh, Young young Sav. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Tav. Oh no! But, like yeah, that. we we know what we it, we yeah. trying to they get. They from out. up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we, but that was a great answer. No one's ever said a little happy. Yeah, no I'm happy you said that. that. Yeah. Um, Chicago. For my final game question, name. Wait, one word that best describe who you are. One word that one best word. describe you. Uh, God fearing is that. Yeah. Hey, it's cool. That's you what know, you got a hyphen yeah, in it. Exactly. We're going to do God fam. We're going to do God fam. When we text it to people, we put that as one word. So yeah. this one word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That, if that don't work, blessed. We'll go with that. I, I got, one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got some. Um, what's the first song you listen to when you wake up in the morning? Man, it's different every day. <laughs> what song you listen to this morning? The this first morning, one. the first one. Because I know... Um, it took me a while to finally. I, I I be early but late on stuff at the same time. So it was uh it was two songs. It was Bandland ZZ's my boy L, L Rackays, and I just went through the whole Beyonce and J album. That, How that's you feel banging. about that right now? I was I was very impressed because I ain't gonna lie. I was I was a little slow motion with it. I still haven't off. heard it yet. I've been listening. Well, we check it out. Jones, I've been listening to Nas. I can't help it. No, no, that's I real. can't help it. Nas just was like, I couldn't get past Bonjour. I listened to it like eighteen times. No, I feel that. No, B, B and J album was decent. I gotta check it out. Very I impressed. Gotta check it out. What's a what's a studio? What's the? I guess I want to say what artists do you have the most fun with in the studio? Oh my goodness. Um... The most fun with it will probably have to be Asa, only because uh, he's he's never never not turned in the studio. If he's in it, because he the type he not a studio rat. Like he's not gonna be there every day for ten hours. He he likes to go when he's ready to work. So when he in there, it usually turns into a party. Okay, what's a what's a classic studio studio moment? 
classic studio moment. Um, uh, probably. What? Well, uh, I can't say that. Uh, let me see. I'm I'm try to say this. No, I can't even say it because it's about the whip remix about how that happened. But I can't. I can't. I can't talk about that one. So we gonna say you could make some imaginary characters up. <laughs> so. No, nah, okay. No, 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 we just Don't know it, it. We just know it got to deal with the whip sesh. There yeah. we go. We yeah. know who did, who created whip. If you don't know, it was it's Ace and we gonna get into I'm, I'm, his I'm a call him when the remix drop. Like, yo, can you give me that? Yeah, what, what happened? Story, what happened? <laughs> right? Can we what do happened? an improv too? Where you at right now? Super we gonna organic. <laughs> We're gonna do an Illinois live when they real quick. Super organic. <laughs> okay, I got questions. Go ahead. So, if you could be alive during any music era. Which era would you have picked? It would be probably 93 to about 98 in the South. Project Pat is my favorite rapper of all time. Yeah. So, I, I remember you put that up on yeah. the ground. We were just mm-hmm. going back and forth. Yeah. And it was going to be the 90s. So I, I would be I would be in there tearing the club up with 3-6, Cross Rolls with Bone Thugs, UGK. No uh, Limit Soldier. No Man. That was that was that was like that's what that's my favorite genre of music. I'm I rock with it all the time. Like, yeah, that's it. That's okay. it for me. Okay. So, what's one thing you wake up and tell yourself every morning? Um. Uh. First, well, as soon as I wake up, I pray. So I just I go through a certain criteria of my prayers of just you know. Thankful that I'm alive that morning. Pray for I pray for everybody, and then pray for myself last. So, whatever is in my mantra of my prayer that morning, that's like the first thing I'm saying. So, probably just thank you, God. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my she cousin. Just Julie. cousin. Pretty my Raya is very popular, guys. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm such a lame. Phone lit. I have two text messages <laughs> from the same person. <laughs> I'm not that lit. Okay. Lights flashing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Dang, y'all just made me forget my question. Okay, no, I, I remember now. Mm-hmm. So, if you could put together a collaboration mixtape with two artists that have never collabed on anything before, who would you put together? They have never collabed on anything before. Like, if you had to pick two artists that you think could make a solid tape, who would you pick? Okay, you make it a little easier for me to pick an era. Currently... In the back in the day, because that's hey, this era. Yeah, I'm had to go this era. And they've never made a song together. Nope, that's tough. Who are two people? I mean, yeah, it's tough. But who are two people? Because have you ever heard a beat and be like, "Oh, I can hear so and so and so and so of this song." Like mm. when I hear beats, I automatically think of the artist that okay. I can hear on the song. I do that. Yeah. So I think just on some modern day stuff, I think Kendrick and Thug will. It really entertain people. Interesting. Mm. That is actually really a very interesting. Yes, you got intellect, lyrics, bars, West Coast with everything that's thugger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure we might get that with something similar to the J. Colton thugger tour popping off. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. And that would be that will be entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Like they them t- on tour together is entertaining. It's already yeah. it sounds yeah. entertaining. And those that haven't seen Thug Show, like people may not know Thug Show those is he got hits. Like you gonna be in there just I remember when he first came like came to the scene, his show was whack. Here? Yeah, it, it's it's, it's definitely developed. So it didn't de- man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Who's somebody that y'all wants to work with? I, I know you were saying, like, you'd be looking at Instagrams, like, they one step away from this and that and this. Who's somebody you're looking at to make those steps? Because uh, they might be listening and they might can just make those adjustments like, right now. <laughs> I, I feel like in, in Oakland, all black, because he got it. He just got to, they got to learn what cities to hop to. So you, if you're from the Bay, you're going to go Oakland, Detroit. And you need to grab you something else to maintain you. So I would go all black on the West Coast. Um, at the crib, I'm pretty decent with everybody, but I I, I want people to hear ZZ's. That's the guy I said that made a song. Rays, L Rays. Once people hear him, they're going to be like, what is this? This is some different Chicago stuff. Um, and probably uh, Sheg West. Sheg West on the East Coast. And then we can go down to uh, Key Glock. Key Glock, one People of my favorites. People sleep on Key Glock, and that's my husband. Man. <laughs> I was bumping him on the way here from the email. Man. Like, what? Key Glock? 
Peacock Raw, Russian Cream. That's <coughs> that's, that's, that's in my rotation. Like I be we gonna projects. play Russian that's Cream. Not my hood princess, we gonna you know? play that Come after on. Will. That's one of the best projects out. Shout yeah. out Key Glock. Shout out that Bon Appetit with Z Money and Her. Going crazy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, let, again, let the people know where they can find you. Give you shout outs and all of those type of things. Man, first shout out to y'all, man. Just for this, this platform, your shows, everything y'all do for the city. Shout out to y'all. Uh, IG and Twitter. I don't really be on Twitter like that, but you can go ahead and get at me. Everything is Nayar, N-A-Y-R underscore creates. Um, and yeah, man, in, invite me out. I like doing stuff. Pop me out to a show. You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 what's, what, what's your own? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I pull up. You know what I'm saying? I always trying to have some fun, man. But shout out to all the artists I work I work with. Everybody that gives me opportunity just to converse and meet you. I'm, I appreciate it all. You got to introduce this uh, Asa one time. Oh, man, man, man. man. Uh oh. I swear to, they play this in Red Diamond. I swear to, I might throw my whole life savings. Hey, First shout of all, shout can out, I, Coco. real, real quick, shout out to Finesse Fest because I was oh, at a boy. party when he dropped this and I, I literally did a write up on it. Yeah, the like next, two, the like next, the next day. day. Finesse played this at a party. The whole room was turned, and I was mad. I didn't know the lyrics at the time. So by the end of the night, I knew right hand touching my booty. Mm-hmm. And I left hand touching my booty. I, yeah, I still Ooh. think Come I just said touching it wrong. That booty. But left you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you go ahead and do this. So I'm taking my booty. Man, this is my brother. Ace of two times the deals label. Stop calling me, man. The, the major hit single turned up to any. We ain't even hit a stride yet, but it's on this way. Well. Whip remix on the way. Whip produced by Shake and Bake, man. Let's get into it. Asa, Asa. Right here on Illinois Radio. We will be back Movie. next week. Make sure you guys tune in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Holla at you. Howdy. Deuces. Shake and Bake. Yeah. 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 We thinking about cake. Cake. Ain't taking no breaks. Ain't taking no breaks. Mop. Whip like a lake. You just ain't going no dates. Going no Champagne probably like Drake. Like Drake. Mouth that's all in my shape.